Hello and welcome back to Technovo. My name's Steph and today I'm going to be testing a bunch of microphones that I have lying around here from over the years of doing YouTube with the Elgato Wave XLR. Now, by this point, you may have seen our full Wave XLR review, but if not, there will be a card in the top right-hand corner for you to click on to check that out. But in this video, I'm going to be putting several microphones to the test with the Wave XLR and see which one can produce the best audio quality. And these microphones are a mixture of condenser and dynamic microphones as you've probably seen in the thumbnail already. But before I show you my results, I will say that I did not add any post-processing effects or editing to my voice. This is pure audio coming from each microphone. I did, however, run the Elgato noise removal and Elgato EQ VSTs within the Elgato software, and I did change the gain levels depending on the microphone that I was using to be able to capture a full sound. So with that being said, Let's jump into the results. So the first microphone in the hot seat is the Wave DX from Elgato. Now they sent this through when they sent us the Wave XLR to test. And I must say it is very quickly becoming one of my favorite microphones to use as this whole entire setup, including the Wave XLR is just very neat and tidy and it looks good on camera. So it has been sitting here for a while now as my daily driver for content creation, gaming, and taking calls on Skype and Zoom and Teams and that kind of thing. And it's worked really, really well. Second mic I'm testing out is the Rode Procaster. Now I daily drove this for a very long time before swapping everything out with the Wave DX. And I also used the Procaster with a Go XLR as well. But this time it's plugged into the Wave XLR audio interface and this is typically the audio that you can expect straight out of the box. This microphone we reviewed quite a while ago now, but it is the Limelight Dynamic Broadcasting Microphone by a company called 512 Audio. And at the time I very much fell in love with this microphone because the price is really, really good for it. It sounds pretty decent as well. And you get that nice, rich, dynamic broadcast kind of bassy sound. This next microphone actually came as part of a kit from Focusrite. It is the Vocaster broadcast kit where you get the microphone and you also get a pair of headphones for monitoring as well. It is a microphone that looks as if it's going after the Shure SM7B. We actually did a review of the microphone and you can see in this corner, there is a card to that review if you wanted to go and check it out for yourself. So this next microphone, the Audio Technica AT2020, it's probably the most used microphone for content creation or it was at one point anyway. And yes, I was one of those as well. And I got it in white because it matched my PC build at the time, but this was really one of my all-time favorite microphones that I've ever used. It sounds really good. It looks really good. It's nice and small, comes in a small package. So the final condenser microphone that I am putting to the test with the Wave XLR is the Skylight, which is from a company called 512 Audio. It is a full condenser microphone. And as it says on the box, studio condenser microphone. And as you can see on camera, it is an absolute beast. And it comes with a nice pop filter, and you've also got this shock mount as well that it does come with to give it that added protection from knocks and bangs and things like that. So the final microphone in this test is the Rode NTG4 Plus shotgun microphone. And I know it's probably pretty uncommon that people are gonna be using a Wave XLR with a shotgun microphone, but I'm sure there are some creators out there that like to have a shotgun microphone above them while they're creating content or playing games or streaming. So after listening back to my tests, I definitely have a favorite and that's the Audio-Technica AT2020. For my voice at least, it's just a solid little condenser microphone that just sounds absolutely great. Now following in a very close second though is definitely the Wave DX from Elgato as I really like how this microphone sounds at the high end. The audio sounds very open and wide and gives my voice a nice natural tone rather than some um, dynamic microphones really kicking out that bass. I do like a broadcast audio type sound, especially in a podcast type situation, but if I am live streaming or creating content for the channel, I'm definitely more of a fan of that open, natural, wide kind of sound. But as always, let me know your favorite mic sound in the comments down below. Thank you very much for checking out this very short video on the comparison of these six different microphones. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and as I said, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite microphone sound was, which microphone you're using on your computer, and if you're creating content or live streaming, are you using a particular microphone as well? Let us know in the comments down below. As I say, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.